Uh, Justin, tough, tough way to start, obviously, with uh, those three quick ones in the first period. How tough is that in this building against a team that's pushing already to, to come back from? Yeah, I mean, obviously, that's a great hockey team that's preparing for the, you know, to make a cup run. Um, you know, they need these points tonight. So we knew they were going to be hungry. I and mean, I thought we were obviously, I mean, like you can see, we were a bit sluggish early on. And, um, you know, they made us pay for it, and good teams do. But uh, I think, you know, we, we battled back, and I think that goes to show our character and, and the kind of leadership group we got and, and the good core guys that are, are willing to fight for each other. And, you know, I'm definitely happy about how we, how we answered back in that third period. Yeah, penalty kill in the second period was strong, and, and the push in the third. What, what, just what does that say about this unit? And last game of the year. Yeah, I think it's, you know, it's going to be a fun team to watch next season. I think, you know, I think we've made some big strides as a team, and especially young guys making big strides. Um, Silly, Chenny, um, even Johnny making strides since he's been here. So I think it's a, you know, we got a good team going into next year, and I think it's uh, something the fans should be looking forward to. And, you know, me as a player coming back, I, I'm definitely looking forward to what's to come with this group. You get to double digit goals here with your 10th one tonight. Um, what's been a pretty good ride for you? How, how would you sum up as you look at now in the rearview mirror? How would you sum up the way this has all gone for you? I think it's a year of growth for me. I think. Um, there, there's been ups and downs this year. It's been a tough year mentally, and um, especially to start the season, getting sent down. And it's it's been a grind. And I think um, you know I've been able to grow from that and, and learn from some of the guys that have been playing thousand games, eight hundred games. And I've just kind of just you know leaned on some line mates, leaned on teammates a lot this year, and um, you know take what they're good at and try to add it to my game. And um, obviously, get ten goals is it's it's a good you know it's a good way to start. But um, I think there's more to come. Tonight, your team ultimately broke the team goals record, goals for. Um, this goes along with what you're saying. The, the, team, the future of the team is really strong. Just how encouraging is it to see such a young team, one of the youngest teams in the NHL, accomplish that kind of goal? Yeah, I think that's you know it's awesome. You got to be able to, to score goals in this league, and I think our team does a good good job of doing that. We got a, you know, we got we got uh, we got Jake, who's uh, you know a great passer. You got Bork, who can finish plays off. <laughs> Uh, Boone, who finds ways to score goals. You know, there's a lot of guys that bring different tools to the to the to the team, and guys score different ways. So, um, you know, it's definitely uh, it's definitely good for us. Um, I think obviously we got to clean up the the set defensive side of our game, but that just comes with some maturity. Oh, that's gonna go there next year. I thought you would, so I tried to beat you. <laughs> <Of course. there. laughs> that was really it's always a good question, that and there's a bad one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I gotta bring the negativity. Right? Yeah, of course. Uh, no, the defensive side, you do have to clean that up, but I mean. Uh, how, is it is that a, is that tough to do and, and also still score goals? If you, you see what I mean? I mean, are you giving up something on the offensive end? I, I don't think so. I don't. I don't think we really cheat the game as a team. I, don't, I think there's teams that do cheat, kind of cheat the game and, and leave the zone early. I, I don't think we're a team that does that. I don't, I don't think there's guys leaving the zone earlier, you know, getting out of the way of a shot to 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 lead the zone. I think we just got to. I mean, I don't know. It's a good question. Honestly, it's um, something we'll be working on early on in training camp and um, trying to clean up. But I think you know, good defense leads to good offense. Honestly, when I mean, you play good defense, you turn pucks over. That allows our speed to attack on the rush and in transition. So I think it would only help our offense. Yeah, uh, you know, Elvis is is only in his what third NHL season. Sometimes it takes goalies a few seasons to really feel established. How big do you think this past like month and a half or so, where he's played pretty much every night? How big was it for him, and, and how much trust did he build with you guys as well? Yeah, I think it's it's impressive what he what he did the last month there when he had to step up with Corpy being out and um, you know being able to play that many games in that short period of time is um, it's going to help him next year I think for sure with his confidence and um, you know, I'm not sure how it works for a goalie to be honest with you but I think it's uh, you know it's good for him to get those games in and um, yeah, he's a great goaltender it's uh, we got a great goaltender next year so we got a bunch so it's good. How, how quickly do you go back home? Uh, I'll take my time a couple of days do meetings. Uh, you know, enjoy the time with the guys and uh, head back, drive back to Oshawa.